Good morning, guys. I know it's good afternoon, but I would always say good morning because it's a wake-up call for everyone who is really interested in the finance field. I'm here to explain you about, you know, the power of compounding. We know about, you know, the simple interest and the compound interest in our school times. And we have been already using that terminology all the way, you know, in our business and in our ventures, whatever we are doing. Okay. But are we really focusing on how compounding works? Let me, just, uh, let me tell you some interesting story. There was a king who was a genius in playing chess. I guess everyone is, uh, you know, knowing about the chess. He was really proud of his strategies in chess. So he announced one competition in his kingdom that whosoever, you know, beat him in a chess, he will give him a big reward, whatever he wants. So one wise guy came to the kingdom and challenged the king. King was arrogant. He was expecting nobody should come, but that guy came and he was really convinced and he challenged the king there. King told him that you have the time to withdraw your challenge again. You have just heard about the reward of winning, but you haven't heard about the penalty if you lose. He said, I'm ready. And the king said, if you lose, I'll give you death penalty. I will hang you if you lose. He said, no problem, I'm ready. But before moving ahead, what I want, what would be my reward, as you said, I'll be rewarded with whatever I want. So I want to make it clear what I want. If I win, I want a single gold coin on each of the boxes. But there is a trick here that on a first box of chess, I will take one gold coin. On the second one, I'll take two gold coins. Third, I'll get four and so on. 64 uh, boxes, 64 rewards. That's it. I want that. King was like, oh, it's it's... Nothing is asking, like, starting from one coin and, you know, asking, like, uh, plenty of coins. That's okay. I'm, I'm okay. They started playing and that guy beat the king. So now, as per the commitment of the king, he started giving the reward to that guy for 64 days. One day, on the very first day, he called his treasurer and told him that, Give this guy every day one gold coin and increase it by 100%, like 2, then 4, then 8, and so on. And do not ask me, okay, before giving him, because he beat me in, you know, chess. So treasurer was, okay, no problem, I'll give him. So he came every day to pick the gold. But after 20 days, the treasurer rushed to the king. And he told the king that, Sir, we don't have any gold coins more. We finished with our treasure. We are done with that. He said, what? What happened? He said, I have already given him 10 million gold coins at the 28th day. And I'm not sure whether we'll be able to give him tomorrow or the for entire 64 days. So this story you know, bring that king to the land. And the king was like requesting that guy to please forgive him and to take the full ownership of the kingdom because he was wise and he asked for that reward. In this story, we saw that how the compounding works the magic of compounding was calculated by the wise men, but those who were taking care of the treasure, they didn't know about it. The king 
himself didn't know about this power. What exactly happened? They were not having an idea. Albert Einstein, we know the famous, uh, you know, uh, the inventor. He said, the compounding is the eighth wonder of the world, if you really focus on. If you check the list of 100 richest people in the world, if you can go to the Google, you search the 100 richest people on the earth, and you will find only two categories are there in 100 richest people in the world. You'll find only two categories. One category will be the businessmen who are doing the business. And the another category will be the investors who are investing. But again, you will see the investors who are really working hard for a long-term purpose, not for a short-term purpose. You won't find even a single investor who is investing like since last five years or last 10 years, he, is, he has become the richest person. We have the biggest example of Warren Buffett. We know that. He is the wise investors. He says, whatever I've earned, we, we never knew about Warren Buffett before 20 years back. No, we didn't know about him before 20 years. But suddenly he came into the picture and he was in the top reaches 10 people in the world. Why? Someone asked him, what exactly happened? What magic you did? He said, I didn't do any magic. The biggest magic is to stay in the market. The biggest magic is to stay with the strategy which you have already chosen for you. That is the biggest thing which I followed and I'm here now. If you see a lot of investors, they are there. People are making loss and they are out of the market. People are making profit. They are taking the profit home and gone. They are nowhere. But if you see these investors who believe in long term, they are in the top list of the richest people. And this is the compounding effect, not the other thing. Only compound effect. And what is the rule of compounding? There are two strict rules. If you really want to follow compounding, there are two strict rules. First rule, you cannot withdraw your profit. First rule. If you withdraw your profit, then you are not doing compounding anymore. You are taking the benefit of the simple interest. You are taking the benefit. You are taking out the profit and you are not getting the profit on profit. So the first rule is to not withdraw the profit whenever you make the profit. And the second, stick to your plan and desired duration which you have confirmed for you that this is my goal duration. Like for example, a goal can be of 20 years, 25 years, 30 years, any anything. If you started early, you become rich early. If you do not start early, you will not, you know, reach that level early. Right now at this stage also, we have a lot of time to decide whether we want to go for this or not. In two categories, which we already saw and I have already told you that, you know, 100 richest people on the earth, they are having business or they are investing. They are following these two strategies. If you see the businessmen, they are doing the business and whatever profit they are generating, they are not taking that profit at home. They are reinvesting that profit. They are doing the compounding. They don't have the goal of the company to reach in one, two, three or five years. No. They are having long-term goal. 20 years, 25 years, we want to see our company there. We want to compete the big companies. And those companies are really doing well. If you see the, you know, real estate market in Dubai, you see, that's the compounding effect here, if you see. Those who are already there in the real estate, who are holding properties for more than 20 years, they are getting almost 10 times of the property value. At initial, I mean, at first stage, we will see that we're going to earn 8%, 10%, or 15% per annum. That's nothing for five years. 
if you calculate 15% for five years, it's 75%. Not much. But you really want to see the effect of that result, then you'll have to be in the market for a longer period of time. But that's the biggest mistake we do. If we really want to achieve more, we'll have to hold more. And the second one, we don't need to take our profit back. If you take profit back, you're doing compounding. And this is not all about, you know, only the compounding effect in finance. The compounding power can be seen in your daily life also, in your health, in your family happiness. In your entire life, you can utilize these strategies. Only two things required. One thing, never take out profit. And the second thing, Stick to your goal. If you really want to lose your weight, sorry, I'm talking about something different, but I really want to tell you because I'm I'm doing my, you know, psychology. I'm in PhD on psychology. Okay, so what I've seen that and I, I just wanted to share that as well. If you really want to see yourself healthy, what do you need to do? You need to follow these two rules. Simple. Only cut out 100 calories a day. It's very simple task. You can avoid some sugars. You can walk for a while. Whenever you're having call, you, just, you can have a call in your hand and you can walk around. That will burn you 100 calories every day. But you really calculate this 100 calories, what they will do the magic. If you keep on doing this, like consistency, if you keep on doing like a compounding effect, you want to see the compound effect on your body. If you want to see the result of these calories burned, then you'll have to stick to the program. If you do this every day, you will burn 3,000 calories in a month. And if you calculate it, in 35 days, you can lose one pound of your weight. One pound. 35 days. One month. A short period. But if you really keep on doing that for two years, you will lose 20 pounds of your weight. It's really the goal of the people who really want to lose weight. But they don't know how to do it. They just want to, you know, uh, they try to go to the gym. They try to talk to the dietitians. They, you know, try to cut, uh, cut down everything. But because, you know, yourself, your willpower will not allow you to do that. Because he wants to be in, you know, the comfort zone. If you go to gym, they will not, it, not let you go to the gym. They will not let you do, do that. But you can easily play around your willpower when you do this, you know, small activities. There are a lot of books on it. You see, you know, a lot of books on, you know, compounding powers. And read the books and you know like these things will help you out this is one of the example you know like uh, for the health the same examples can be applied to your happy life also you can start with a single habit which can be helpful for your family you, you start you know single habit and it will change your life for entire you know life so compounding can be applied everywhere but we don't see that we do not exactly work in that direction i want to show some interesting you know figures which can be maybe uh, you know blow your mind how it works okay i would like to open one uh, you know the compounding calculator for you guys if you can you know like let's assume that you are investing only 1000 you start with 1000 dollars or whatever currency is that that's and the currency can be anything rate of interest you can easily get 15 to 18 percent in a year if you really find out some real good options i'm not here to give you the advice for you know stock market or particular uh you know finance field i'm not here to give you advice about that i'm here to explain how the power of comp compounding works can you make it 18 percent, please that's the available this scenario is available in the market. You can easily find that, but you'll have to work on that. Can you make the, you know, the number of years? 20 years? Go below and deposit amount. 1,000. Let's consider not 1,000. Let's consider 200 only per month. $200 per month. Go below, please. Yeah. Go ahead. You can make it quarterly because quarterly is easy. I mean, compound interval. 
quarterly, we'll see, yeah, quarterly here, yeah, and calculate, let's see, what amount you're going to get is, by investing only $200 in a month, and initial investment was $1,000, you're going to have $478,000. You get the power of this, you know, compounding effect. Problem with us, we believe in simple interest. We think that, you know, this amount, we uh, get the profit, we take the profit out and, you know, go out and enjoy our life. That's why we are not in the list of 100 people or the richest people. This is how it works. We have calculated 1000, you can calculate any point, uh, any value, right? Like, this is $200. I mean, like, nothing, you can, you know, uh, $200 you can spare from your extra spendings, which you are, maybe uh, you can have the subscription of different Netflix and other, uh, you know, social medias and all, you, you, you can have that, and you can save that $200. But what it becomes, it's $478,000. Let's calculate and, and let's see one more scenario. Maybe, you know, it's after 20 years. So what would be the worth of this 478,000 after 20 years? That must be seen because what would be worth? What we can do, what we can buy by using this $470,000 after 20 years. That's that's really important thing because we do not calculate when we go to compounding. We just see this, oh, that's a big amount. Let's invest and let's start doing it. And that's our goal. But you won't be able to buy the same product exactly which you can buy today at this, this amount. But we'll have to consider that also. So let's calculate the present value of this future value so that we can know what exactly we can do with this small investment of $200 a month. Let's see if you can open the, you know, that one. Okay, if you can, you know, just 60000 if you can write 478000 thousand zero thank you and this rate of interest is nothing but the inflation in all the countries we have the inflations so on an average what we see is the inflation rate is five percent let's take somewhere it's four percent five percent six percent but let's consider it's five percent if you can make it five please okay and the number of periods we have 20 years if you can make it 20 please 20 okay so this is what you have Ignore the currency because we have calculating INR here. That's why it's showing INR, but we have dollars there. Okay, so let's see how much dollar that 478,000 worth today. Today it worth present value $180,000. So now you can imagine what you can do with $180,000 today. You can imagine. And if you have this 180,000, you can buy a home. You can buy an apartment here. You can, you can have, you know, the villa in uh, some places. $180,000. It's not, uh, you know, like dirhams. It's dollars. By just investing $200 a month, you can buy your own villa. We are struggling. We are still having, you know, uh, problems with buying homes and you know, uh, making this investments and we have a lot of problems. But the biggest mistake which we are doing is we are not stick to the program. We are not watching the magic of this compounding effect. Imagine if your age is 30 years now, for example, and your retirement age, which is like general, is 60 years. Let's calculate what will happen uh, can you go to the previous one? Yeah, if you can make only 20 years, make it 30, please. If you are 30 today, what you will be having at your retirement after 30 years, when you want to retire, you don't want to do anything except your own personal life. Okay, let's see what will happen. And by just investing the same amount, $200, please calculate. Let's see what will happen. Guys, you have 2.8 million US dollars. 2.8 million USDs. By just investing $200 a month 
starting with one thousand dollar, thirty years. So when you retire, you are already millionaire by investing two hundred dollars. You are not putting more money. If you change the figure, like if you are capable enough to invest one thousand dollar instead of two hundred dollars, then this amount will be five times. You'll be having ten millions, more than ten millions. It will be one, you know, like fourteen millions. And let's see what you can do by this amount. Let's just check today, today's present value, please. If you can go to the present value, please. Excuse me. The another one. The present value. The another tab. Yeah. If you can put in. Yeah, two forty-eight. Two point yeah. Two point four eight million. So you can make it like zero zero zero. In zero, that's okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so this is okay, and the amount you know it's here. Nine point three four. So nine hundred thirty four thousand. That approximate. One million dollar you are owning today. So if you have one million dollar today, what you can do? One million dollar today, it's in your pocket. What you can do? What kind of car you can buy? What kind of apartment or home you can buy? What kind of you know facilities you can have it by using just one million? You know, with one million dollars, this is the magic of compounding. This is the magic of you know staying in the market. This is the magic of consistency. This is the magic of the goal. If you don't have goal, you will exit any point of time. We have seen a lot of times market crash, like in COVID. We saw, we saw that you know the properties here in Dubai were you know uh, at the discount rates, like thirty percent, forty percent discount was there here, right? That was the right time to enter in the market. We never know when to enter and when to exit. The best strategy in the you know any market, like if you talk about gold market, if you talk about Real estate. If you talk about stock commodities, if you talk about forex, if you talk about blockchain or cryptocurrencies, one simple strategy: entry and exit point. If you enter in good position and exit in good position, then you are making profit. People are doing a lot of technical analysis. People are doing a lot of fundamental analysis. Lot of analysis they are doing, but ultimately, what happens when the market started going down? It will crash. Nobody will be able to stop. Even if you have done your whole life, the, you know everything you have done, the research from your point that it is not going to happen, but it will happen because market runs on the emotions rather than the technical analysis. That's why every time when you see this scenario, it will keep on going down, 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 and down. When you see that market is going up, 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 it will go up without any reason. There is no reason. That's emotion. Human emotion is very much powerful. If they think that this market is going up, they'll definitely go for it. Everybody will buy. Right now, the crypto market is really doing well. That's why people are doing well. People are buying more and more and more. That's why it is going up. So this is how it works. So you know exact when to enter, know when to exit in all case scenario in all kind of investment plannings. Anyways, my my name is Imran Khan. My Instagram, if you can, you know, open the, you know, main slide. Uh, my Instagram profile, I'm the motivational speaker, Amy Khan underscore official. Uh, I have done my BSc with mathematics, MBA with finance and marketing. I have done dual. I have done my uh, MSc with psychology. Still, I'm doing my PhD on psychology, human psychology. Okay, and that's all for my presentation, power of compounding. I try to show you the way you should invest. I didn't promote, I don't want to promote my company here. I'm not here for that. I just want to show you how it works, how you can become the rich person in you know future. If you are planning for your kids now, just think about it. If your kid is like 10 years of age today, if you think about 30 years, at 40, he'll be a millionaire. And you are making him a millionaire without doing anything, extra efforts. So that's all. I, I'm just opening for the questions. Yeah, thanks.